Hi, this is a um, bonus reading, a collective bonus reading, just in case somebody wants to um, just find out some energies, okay? What's going on in the collective energies? I shortened up um, my readings today for the sign of Scorpio, Capricorn, as well as Libra. And I'm just going to kind of flow with this particular reading right here. Um, my channel messages may not have anything to do with whatever is coming out in the cards. I'm definitely being led to say that right now in this moment, okay? Some of you guys, you have been set up to trick the enemy, okay? There's something significant about it making things looking like you are losing, but really you're winning, now, for myself personally, it used to kind of, and look what the look what just fell down, Seven of Swords. Um, for me personally, I would just hear people saying that, and it was just kind of like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And where I'm at right now on my spiritual journey, I totally understand and know exactly what that means. So, like. If somebody feels like they're humiliating you, if somebody feels as if they have a leg up on you because of some sort of information, the Most High is definitely working something out in your favor, okay? If you're watching or you're listening to me this far, there is some sort of victory that is coming your way, okay? There's something that's kind of like your own inner laughter, your own personal joke. And when you have those kind of own personal jokes, it's better to keep the joke to yourself. It's like you have a smile on your face, but nobody knows why you're smiling. And they, you don't need to say a word about it either because um, it is the most highest job to say that to the enemy's face. Because trust me, People are receiving some sorts of bad news. They're going through different things, and it's because they've played in your energy, okay? We left Libra season with things being balanced out, going into Scorpio season. Now in the present, we're under a new moon. It's time for manifestation. You better believe there are some dark energies that are trying to manifest negativity into your energy, and you're casting it down without even knowing it, okay? Somebody could have like um, unstraightened teeth, whether it's yourself or someone else. Like maybe it's like a chipped tooth or a tooth that's kind of protruding out in front of another tooth, okay? If this is yourself, maybe you wish to get some sort of dental work done or maybe you don't even give a care because your teeth are all white and that's all that matters to you, okay? That's just what I'm seeing right now. Someone's name can literally be Justice. Okay, or there's a reason why I'm even saying that. I'm not sure, but I'm just getting where someone really feels like they are winning and they're really not because somebody thinks that they have so much control because their control is what they can see with the visible eye. And that is not the only thing that exists. Look at the bottom of this dead high priestess. Is there a Pisces cross watching? What about your Pisces placements, okay? What's behind this? The Six of Swords in reverse. The Star card, okay. The Empress in reverse. Okay, there we go again with more Piscean energy. There's the Hangman in reverse. The Empress in reverse. The Star card, the Six of Swords. Somebody, there could be a mother figure, and you're becoming a whole lot more enlightened about this mother figure. Whether this is your mother figure, whether it is like an empress in reverse doesn't always have to be a mother figure as far as I'm reading the energy right now. This could just be somebody who has like low self-esteem. They do not value themselves. They're very confused about their sexuality. Like how to be a lady, how to reserve the energy, how to be able to balance out when to be a lady and when not to. This empress in reverse is someone who emasculates both men and women. They will tear down both, okay? This empress in reverse is the kind of person who will sleep with their daughter's boyfriends 
or sleep with their friends, men, okay? But there's some sort of enlightenment that you've been receiving. For some of you guys, there's some sorts of healing. Drop me the emoji with the angel halo over it. Or just drop me just the word angel. Just the word angel. Someone's name can be angel and hell. You can be regarded in the heavens as an angel, okay? But just drop that into the uh, comments for me. When I ask you guys to affirm things, it's always usually going to be something very positive. It gives you the chance to place that energy into your auric field. And it's also an energy exchange as well. Um, I love it if you guys could hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, to subscribe to my channel. Spirit says somebody's name is Angela. I split the deck and there's a five of wands to the four of swords. Some of you guys, you could be um, not getting enough of rest because you're feeling anxious. Spirit is saying it's okay for you to lay down and it's okay for you to rest and for you to sleep. Because what you don't want to do is like continue to be running and running and running and running low on gas because eventually you're going to crash out, okay? There's nothing for you to be afraid of. You need to relax and get yourself some rest. Some of you guys need a vacation. Something significant about the sign of Aquarius. We got the two of cups coming out here. Uh, let me scratch my shoulder. And get something to drink. Keep that hydration going. Somebody's going to have a very cold winter. Very cold front. Big, 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 big cold front coming through. An unusual cold front. We've got the uh, Six of Cups in reverse to the Five of Swords coming out here. Let's see what's going on here. There's something about like a partnership, a friendship, and there's bad memories. Like there's bad memories about this. Um, somebody could be feeling, you could be feeling as if like, there's somebody's in their emotions in their head. And you could be feeling very defensive about this particular friendship. Or a partnership or a connection. There's a connection here between two people. Maybe you and this person used to drink together, smoke together, laugh together, talk together. But whatever this is with the Six of Cups in reverse, this is like bad blood. I'm almost wanting to say, collective, that you could be in an energy where you almost feel as if someone got the best of you. Okay, yes, yeah, like you can feel like somebody got the best of you with this five of swords here. Let's tell me some more. With the four of pentacles. For some of you guys, uh, somebody could have did something that is just giving me where some, something makes you like, um, you know how hermit crabs like, if you barely go near them or a turtle, they jump or they close themselves back into their shell. You could feel as if you can't be yourself around someone or there's something that's got you feeling kind of tense or shelled up. And remember, I mentioned something about um, when I split the deck, feeling as if you can't get any sleep or you can't rest. At the bottom of the deck of the Hierophant, you could be dealing with the Taurus or Taurus. You're dealing with this particular situation. The bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords in reverse, the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant in reverse. There's lots of gossip and I'm talking about gossip. It's a group of people talking about some sort of relationship that you were in. All right. It's something that makes you feel, is it like recluse? I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong word. Shit. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, uh, hmm. 
I'm also picking up something about like you having to budget, do things a certain kind of way because money slowed down. This would be also like a business partnership, something going wrong between two people, a partnership. Um, it could even be a family member that you have business with. I uh, just seen the word A-L-Y. So Alyssa, Ali, Elise, something like that can be significant. But um, someone failed to take action when it came to making sure you got money. This could be a job, uh, but the Four of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles is definitely giving me someone that's happened to like make sure that they're budgeting, making sure that they eat from home, they don't overspend in any sort of shape, form, or fashion, okay? For some of you guys, you experienced this while being in a partnership with someone. And I said you experienced this while being in a partnership with somebody, Gemini Energy. Somebody could have withheld um, their energy with you. I'm just getting like somebody that you're in a relationship with this person, but they make sure that they give very, very little of their self. And they take their time when it's when it comes to opening up. Um, maybe you were the kind of energy where you're like, okay, I'm going to make sure I cook. I'm going to make sure I cook. I'm going to make sure I do this. But somebody else was like, well, first they're going to have to do this, this, this. It's given me where somebody acted as if they wanted you to bow down to them. Like you had to do all these backflips and magic tricks in order to get them to see who you were. I don't know whether this is a relationship or a friendship. Somebody expected you to be I don't know, child, they mama, empress. So somebody wanted you to act as if you was they mama. I'm also picking up somebody that wants to be in a relationship with you and wants you to do all this stuff before putting a ring on your finger, the lovers to the empress. Yeah, this is someone who wants someone to um, play house. Yeah, somebody wants somebody to play house. And they give very, very little. They're slow to give anything, though. We got the 10. Yeah. Uh, who? Uh-uh. If you're a masculine, <laughs> this is the kind of energy that wanted you to play father to their child, give you, you give money, you pay bills, or you put on some sort of role to take the burdens off of their back. Yeah, this is like... This is playing house. For others of you, somebody didn't expect for you to um, be exactly what their mom is or be what my, what my mom says a woman is or what my mom showed me what a woman is is exactly what you should be doing to me. High Priestess in reverse. Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Leo. Somebody is a real asshole or a real bia because even once you relieve them, once you do whatever you have to do to them, they'll still fuss, mock, talk shit with the high priestess in reverse of the strength card. They still, this is like a damn if you do, damned if you don't type of energy, okay? Even if you do everything the right way, they still complain. They still whining. Something about Cobb is significant. Cobb County, corner on the Cobb. Someone's last name could be Cobb. With the nine of swords out here. Something about somebody waking somebody up in the middle of the night, too. I'm not sure if you have small children or somebody will fuss or cuss or do certain things while you're trying to get some sleep or something. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I'm also picking up something about, like, um, how can I say this? 
somebody could be something about somebody's dreams or someone's visions or somebody having some sorts of sights of seeing stuff like i don't know apparitions or something i don't know nightmares possibly too we got the nine of wands to the ace of swords in reverse Be having some sorts of dreams about somebody like you could be having dreams about somebody fighting having nightmares running from things make sure you drop me those angels we want to make sure that we're 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 in alignment with our angels we're in alignment with positivity we're hidden helpers and you're on that particular frequency where your angels are able to move you away from whatever this negative energy is, especially if you're experiencing nightmares. And then I'm also picking up like, why is this Ace of Swords out here in reverse? Like, why? Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So... <laughs> Somebody is slandering a Queen of Pentacles energy, Capricorn energy, but you could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But someone's like, it's almost as if you can't get sleep. There's something about your sleep or your sleep patterns being disrupted. And it's because of so much gossip and slander. Someone has to say about what you do for work, why you're in this position of the Queen of Pentacles. I'm picking up something about flowers right now. Someone could live on a street call, a street that is the name of a flower or the street is flowers or I don't know. You're blossoming, you're, you're, you're looking pretty fresh. Maybe you're into gardening. I'm just picking up something about florals or flowers right now. Queen of Swords in Reverse. So someone is telling lie. When I tell you, I don't know who you are, but there is a shitload of lies. We got the we got the the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in the middle of it. You're surrounded by lots of gossip and lies. At the bottom of the deck, there goes my yes card. That's something that you could definitely have become more aware of. And if you're not aware of this, then you're going to become aware of this. It's like somebody don't have no other choice but to lie and gossip. Smear. This is heavy smear campaign. Heavy. Okay. Air signs, Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. I'm talking about look oh there's what it's about the king of pentacles there's a lot okay taurus energy but once again this is air and earth something's going on with air signs and earth signs or you could have the two dominant in your chart but like there's gossip and slander in the form of like your status your job, how you're making your money, where you live, what your assets are, okay? Somebody's even digging into everything you do on a daily basis. Like, oh, the collective probably over there, blah, 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 blah. Like, and then what's crazy is there's lots of slander around your partnerships, whoever you're partnering with. Like, Oh, the collective is probably over there with this particular person. Bottom of the deck, child. The king of swords in reverse. Let me tell you something. Some of you guys got like a jealous couple around you. Yeah, there's a jealous couple around you. Especially if you are um, in a relationship. There's someone else. There's like a, it's like a couple, couple competition. For others of you, you could be a single person, but you're attracting your soulmate. And there's couples around you that's slandering about like, oh, they ain't got no man. Or, oh, I bet you they this or they that. Like, it's something about 
your everything, especially when it comes to your money, especially when it comes to your assets, and especially it comes to just your everyday life. There's lots and lots of slander going on about this. Someone has like a skin complexion that looks like they tan, but they don't. So I'm picking up on like, it could be like a lighter skinned um, black woman or someone could be Hawaiian or someone could be of like Panamanian or Asian or Mexican or someone's skin complexion has like a golden, a permanent golden tint to it. Okay, yeah, look, seven, yeah. There's a lot of gossip around surrounding your love life, um, the choices you have. Um, what is this Seven of Cups here? Because it has another meaning to it as well. The Knight of Wands, the Hangman in Reverse. You have so many choices around you, Collective, that you may not know when somebody is trying to help you or hurt you. <laughs> it's like there's been so much drama. There's been so much stuff going on with you that you don't know if somebody is real help, fake help, hidden help. Help with motive with motives, um, yeah, because you deal with, and if you're not in this energy, there's I said something about you, and I said something significant about the sign of Aquarius. Now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of you guys are in the spotlight, you're in the spotlight, Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you could be very confused and stressed out when it comes to being able to, and if you're not stressed, you could just probably feel like, I'm so over it. But it's something about you being like, oh my goodness, like, I don't know if you fake, you real, you fake, you fake, you fake, you real, nope, nobody real, everybody fake. With the Six of Swords in reverse. Being guided to get away from everybody. Somebody I'm speaking to is definitely in hermit mode. So something significant about the sign of Virgo as well as um, Aquarius. What's these two cards? We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse to the Four of Swords. I'm going to get one more. With the six of swords in reverse. Sword, 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 swords. Being all in your head. I'm also picking up something about like if you're in some sort of situation with your finances. Because remember I said something put you into that four of pentacles with the knight of pentacles. Something slowed your money down. Okay. And that's not for everybody. But it could also be the slowing down of your energy or just keeping things to yourself in general. Because I said that you're feeling kind of like that hermit energy where they get too close to you. You're like, you start retracting back into your shell. And for some of you guys, you've been doing lots of resting or just trying to do things like sleep away. Look. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't even feel tired. <laughs> it's something about sleep and see that that's confirmation right there. Because I got a lot of energy and this reading actually feels really good. But like, I'm getting something like sleeping and resting either the problems away or just trying to lay down. Just, I don't know. And that's what's clearing your head. Because see, it's like this here. Or some of you guys, this might be what you need to do. Okay, I'm going to shorten this reading up. Because I don't want to be talking to myself. But it's something about like, will of, what's this will of fortune in reverse? Because it's definitely something about money that is making you feel stressed out. The justice. Okay, so some of you guys got court. Money is owed to you. Money is due to you. 
And it goes back to the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, feeling like you, you got betrayed or feeling as if, like, mm-mm. You can't trust anybody. You don't know if you look left, look right, look up, look down. All right, my angels. What's going on with the collective? We're about to switch decks. Mm, the Eight of Pentacles. What about this Eight of Pentacles? Some of you guys are facing some sort of situation with a court worker's compensation, leaving the job. I cannot make it up. Look what came out. Some of you guys are stressed out or like wanting to leave your job or you need to rest because you've been working so hard on the job. Yeah, working so hard on the job that you need to take a rest. A vacation, look. But some of you guys are actually being guided away from your job. This is happening in real time and that's a future prediction. There's something going on with your job that you're eventually either, you're going to, um work less or you're going to be like either taking yourself out of a, a high position and taking on less responsibilities is what I'm trying to say. One more last one in this deck. Yeah, the six of pentacles. I cannot make it up. A lot of you guys are going to be doing something, some sort of work. You're being guided away from your job in order for you to find something that you really feel like is fair. Yeah, look. So you're skilled at something. This is also someone who knows their worth. Okay. And this is why you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. And this is why there's so much gossip and slander all around you in real time. Let's go into the Ancestor Secret deck. Ancestor Secrets. Okay, let's find out your angel messages. That's right. Your ancestor and angel messages. Let's see what's going on right now in real time. What's going on with the collective? I'm going to take all three cards. We have the griot. That's like the chariot. Creature of earth and root of fire. This would be like the knight of pentacles. And this would be the page of wands. So something like, there's a blessing coming your way. And you're going to need to take charge and risk everything with this. It's giving me, all right, let me say this. Because some people are going to get what I'm saying. And some people are not going to get what I'm saying. Because see, some people, they're on a frequency that they're not going to understand what I'm about to say. But whatever you're about to do, this is one of those things where you you hear the famous people say, I put every single dime of my money into this. But see, somebody is going to hear this and they're going to be like, oh, no, but I have to pay my rent. That particular person is not on this frequency. So if you are listening to this, this message is for you to hear. Something is going to require you to put everything into it. And it's probably going to cost you money. It's probably going to cost you time. This is the people who, once again, I need you to listen carefully. This is the people who be like, I'm about to leave my job in two weeks. And I'm going to grind so hard and the sky's the limit. But the reason why I'm saying this is for a certain group of people is because somebody is not vibrating that high. So they will go quit their job and they'll be like, oh, well, in the reading, the reader said that I was going to get a blessing within a week. I'm not talking to those people. Mm -mm. I'm not talking to those people right now. There's something that you're about to move forward to and you're about to invest your all into whatever this is. And it's going to be a blessing. It's going to be a blessing. There's a blessing on the other side of whatever this is. The cards are so big. Mother of water. So this is like a mother. There could also be, for some of you guys, you're making this big risk. And it is because you are deciding to have a baby. You're deciding to get pregnant. 
okay? This could also be fertility. Fertility gives me sacral chakra energy, which is luck, planet of Jupiter expansion, okay? It's a real important for you to take care of yourself right now. Like, for you to put yourself first. Whatever this decision is, is going to be something that you're going to have to put yourself first. I got the tower. Whatever this is that you're going to do, no wonder you're attracting haters. No wonder they call you beep. Yeah, no wonder they're calling you weak. You know what I'm saying by Tupac. No wonder you got all of this. You had what? The Ace of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Um, in the upright with the Queen of Swords in reverse. It's no wonder they're calling you all these kinds of names. Whether you a male or female. Yeah, you got like... A U-Haul truck full of haters. New life. You may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job. You may also get a tempting job offer or a new place. All right. So, like I said, we had that Eight of Pentacles to the Six of... Um, swords to the six of pentacles the number 66 could be significant i could be speaking to a gemini or you could be dealing with one whoa okay i'm gonna take these two we got success the path you are on will bring you success and prosperity if you just keep going lots of little steps take you a long way you're on track then we've got a prickly situation you need both tact and diplomacy to reach your goals. The struggle is worth the prize. Work around the issue and use a gentle touch. So there is some sort of situation that you have that you need to... This is giving me watch what you say and keep, what, keep your eyes open and keep your ears open. This is also giving me where because it's so new, there's different levels. There's, there's levels to this. And that you need to walk in like you are the boss, but you know you're the shit. You know you're good. But remember, there's eyes on you that make you, that you need to play as, as if you're the intern. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing the name Jackie. Jacqueline. Malachi. Carol, the number 13, the number 17. Someone could be 13 years old. Something could have happened to someone when they were 13. Let's go to the Practical Oracle deck. First card out. Have faith. Remove the doubts and questions. See, this is how come I said something about somebody being on a certain frequency. Because someone... Like, it's so horrible and it's so immature, but a lot of people will be like, oh, well, they told me to take this leap of faith. And it's like, were you really on that fight, that, that, that frequency to do that? You know what I'm saying? Do, could you really afford to make that leap of faith? That's just somebody being very immature. But you're going to know when it's time for you to take the whole entire $5,000 and invest it into a business. You're going to know that beyond tarot reading. Remove the doubt and questions. You're ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. Balance. Juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. That goes back into getting that rest. Take care, collective. Bye.